So I'm finally trying to fix this drum mag. I've used it once and it was terrible. The, the rounds wouldn't feed. And uh, so apparently the KCI ones, the uh, Korean ones, are the worst of the bunch. And this is what that one is. So I'm going to try to fix it and I'm going to start with uh, troubleshooting it. So I had a, I had a hunch that uh, it doesn't have a, a powerful spring. So if you put all 75 rounds in there, it might not be able to have the power to turn them all and put them up into the neck and, and seat them properly. So I was thinking, well, why don't you try putting, say, 10 rounds or 20 rounds in and see if it, and you know, crank it up and see if it has the power to do that. So that's what I'm going to try first. But it, it, always, it has loading instructions for 75 rounds, but I was like, well, it's kind of complicated. How do you put only 10 rounds in here? So, if you unwind this to prepare for 75 rounds, this little cam follower will be over here somewhere. It's easier to, to show here. So it'll be right there. And then, in a spiral, all these rounds get pushed up along this path out up into here. So if you want to put 10 rounds in, you just put uh, down here, and then the cam follower will be like right here. So... So I'll try that, do 10 rounds, and I'll try to simulate what's going on when the rounds get up here and, and what's going on. So, um, so let's just count. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Actually, I'll just put 9 rounds in because it's on the, the single. If I put one in there, it's just going to be floating around. So, But make sure if you're partially loading it, it's loaded up from the cam follower. So put these rounds in. This. All right, so let's say we just want to do nine rounds and see if that will work. Like I'm not on the range or anything, but I'm just trying to like simulate what's going on. So, let's push this up. Push these up. Alright, so, <clears throat> I'm going to simulate a weak spring right now. I'm just going to push these up into, into the neck and see what happens. So we're coming up. There's your problem. You see that? So I'm barely pushing these up to simulate a weak spring and it's nose diving that's the issue that's going on with these mags that's why they won't feed right that's the main issue it's a couple things it is the nose diving just the uh, de the design here some mags have done that where this is more curved to take that into account um, so the design is kind of flawed and it's not being pushed up with enough force so why don't so I'll push it up with force. See, now it's seated properly. So just imagine 75 rounds in here. They're all trying to be turned and pushed up into there so it's not powerful enough, and they're going to nosedive. So let's go back to the nosedive position. See, there's a little lip right there where if it's in that position and the bolt comes to take the round, it'll push it right into there, and there's no chance for the round to get up into the chamber. It'll stop right there. Which makes sense, because I kept the rounds from the one time I used this, and they're both pushed in. See that? There's a normal round on the left, and these are both pushed in. So that's the main issue. I, I didn't, even when I was troubleshooting this, like when I was using, using it, <clears throat> I didn't realize that's what's going on. I was like, why isn't this round going in? So I kept pushing the or pulling the bolt back and trying to let it go and it would kept getting stuck and these just kept getting jammed further and further in the cartridge so this is the issue right here coming up and nose diving so um, I can't I've come up with a strategy to try to fix this which involves some welding putting some material on here um, and filing some of this down so that to try to rework this area 
so that even if it does nosedive, it's seated properly in the AK so that it can still maybe like hit a hit a ramp in there, like file that down, and then it'll hit the feed ramp and go up into the chamber. Um, I'm going to try to show you uh, my plan. Um, it's kind of hard to, to see. Uh, where's that? Where's that AK? I'll seat it in the AK and see if see if I can uh, get get some good footage on that. So here I got the bolt back to show you what's going on with this thing. So I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, so this is typically how it goes. And there's a little wiggle, wiggle back and forth too. So, so as you can see, um, well, if you can see that, in this position, it's not nosedived. It's seated properly, and the first round will go into the the uh, chamber fine. But the issue is in the nosedive position. So there's the nose dive, and you can see, well, hopefully you can see that lip of the drum, it's, uh, it's going to catch the round. So the bolt pushes the round, and it's stuck on the lip. So um, I'm trying to rework this so that it will s the front of it will seat higher, and even in the nose dive position, it will be it will be angled so that it would still go in. So, um, on this, see how there's a little wobble? If you look closely, if you go up, push it f very uh, forward as, as much as the wobble can go, and it does nosedive, if that part of the magazine had a little ramp on it, it would still make its way in. But I'm trying to rework it so it can seat even higher and make sure that when it does nosedive, it can still go in there. So, I've noticed also with these mags, if you kind of jam it up there and it's not seated 100%, um, it will catch. It will catch on this part. Here, let's see. Right here, it'll catch on this part really high up in the seat, and then when you uh, when you click it in, this will be kind of angled up, like a, like a nose dive. You can see some of the material has been um, kind of grinded off. So here, let me try doing that. So I'm gonna push it up as high as it can go, and try to you know, try to see. Try to simulate that. No, no, I didn't get it. I didn't get it properly. Okay, so go up, high as it can go. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now it's kind of wedged up in there. Now you can see, if you look at it, it's very, it's up very high now, since I, since I wedged it up in there. And now if you nose dive it, and maybe if you uh, if you file or uh, or grind that little a uh, ramp into that part right there, it'll go up into the chamber. So the higher you can seat the front of this, you can um, in the event that it does nose dive, that you're all set because it's seated higher and it'll go up into the chamber. So that's one thing I wanted to uh, to rework. Um, it seems like a lot of hassle, I know, for these drum mags, but it's like 60 bucks, so might as well try to get it working. But um, they are super fun, so hopefully I will get this get this done. So, like what I was saying, you kind of jam it up there so that this gets wedged, and then. Um, and then this comes back in and clicks in, but it's still wedged up there. But the normal the normal position has a little wiggle. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to extend this. Uh, let's see, extend this down. Put a little material in there, 
and then maybe grind off these edges here so that you can seat it higher because this this is the position we're trying to make work in the nosedive position so we can probably put a little ramp in there so that if it does nosedive and this gets pushed forward in the nosedive position it'll take that ramp and go right up uh, into the into the barrel that's one thing I I'm going to try to do. And also, um, I want to figure out how to make this. It's just, it's not strong. The spring in there is not strong. You can see in the nosedive position, if I just, uh, you see? Like, it's like it's not getting enough torque in this little area in here. So that's another problem. It's not strong enough and it's nosediving. We could just figure out how to make it stronger. All that would go away, but I want to try to fix both uh, problems, the nose diving and the uh, spring strength. So hopefully I can get this done uh, next couple days. Um, I don't have the equipment right now for it, but I'll probably get a grinder and, and figure this out. But uh, hopefully I'll get to the range and um, this can be uh, working 100%.